gently. Very importantly, the visionary, the vessel of honor that God has been using to affect lives. Her name is Jacinta Obi Njika. She's a Nigerian. She is an indigenous of Port Harcourt, River State. So, she is the chosen vessel that God is using globally to affect lives. And we are her followers, her sisters, serving in this vineyard and representing this group in Port Harcourt. Thank you very much. Remember, I told you her name is Jacinta Obi Hemjirika. Thank you very much. Do you want to we are the floor is open you can see one or two things that are children hand over then we officially will receive the items and welcome the prayer. So the floor is open. Yeah. Where is our Amen. Amen. We're here because of God, not for anybody. And I know that the love of God is always sufficient for those that love Him. Because He says, if you love me, you keep my commandments. We have come as a body. To see our sisters because they are like us. In this life, seeing them it touches our hearts. Because if we are in a good condition, you will not know what others are passing through. But for us coming today, we know that the good Lord will make a way where there is sense no way for them to be healed absolutely here. And those that have forgotten time, I know that the Lord will use this group to send more and more testing papers to people that will come like us to help them. And when us to stand in fellowship and communion with Christ, that after this exercise, we will have the cause to bless the name of God. Amen. Thank God today we are happy. And not only the <coughs> items, they asked us to give a token to you to attach to what you brought here. And they will have to hand it over to you as a sister representing others. I am the leader, the admin. You have to join hands. Today, we make our vision not to not to crawl. We know that it will go from strength to strength in all the days of our life. Amen. In the name of Let me capture. Oh my God. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank
Nobody can take this honor to himself or to herself. The love comes from our Father to him. Jesus told us that on the last day, a lot of people would just come to him and say, Master, so we did miracles in your name. We spoke tongues in your name. We healed the sick in your name. We did a lot of things. But as Jesus said, you will tell them, depart from me, for I do not know you. When I was in prison, you did not visit me. When I was in pains, you did not come. When I was hungry, you did not feed me. And they were saying, so we are, we are you. We didn't see you in prison. You are, a, you are God. You cannot be in prison. And he said that when each and every one of us has bear the image of God, if we do not do it for people that we see, how can we not say that we love God who is in heaven? That means that whatever we do without touching lives is just an eye service. We just want to do to be recognized by women. And we know that the recognition that counts in our lives is the recognition of God. Our children, we have come here today to bring the love of God unto you. A blind man in the Bible, people are saying it is because he committed a sin. His parents committed sin. That is why they faith has befallen him. But Jesus said no. He did not commit any sin. His parents did not commit any sin. This situation has happened so that the name of the Lord will be glorified. So your situation today is to bring glory unto God. Is to bring forth that you are loved of God. The love of God that is touching you as you stay in this home, because it's only the love of God. Maybe it was, you may have, maybe died, or something would have happened, but it is the love of God that is keeping you here. And now that you have been touched by the love of God, God will heal you. God will perfect you. God will re reintegrate you, reintegrate you back into the wider society. Amen. So that you will also be the hand of God to reach unto the suffering humanity. We want to thank you, sister, that you dedicated your life for humanity. And the God who rewards, you're here, almost out of the world, out of the clear of the world. People are saying, 
uh, lofty things, but you are here. The God who sees the heart, who rewards in secret, will reward you. Amen. Half of God's reward is the peace. He said the peace that surpasses all understanding. Nobody can understand it. God will reward you in his own perfect way. As many as will pass through you, as many as will come here, our prayer today is that this will declare today, we declare this place today a healing home. Amen. Amen. That as many as come that come here, God will perfect all that concerns them. Spiritually, physically, Amen. emotionally, Amen. psychologically, Amen. every kind of ailment, there will not be anyone that will defy medical attention. Amen. 